Perfect? Bang on my chest if you think I'm perfect. Go ahead, bang on it. No heart? You gotta have heart. Miles and miles of heart. This is Patchwork Heart Ministries Young Catholics Respond, brought to you by Breadbox Media. Now, here's your host, Bill Snyder. Thanks, Adam, and welcome to the program, everybody. I am Bill Snyder. This is Young Catholics Respond, and thank you so much for tuning in and listening to us today. I want to remind you that you can uh, find us on Facebook and on Twitter. All you have to do is Google Patchwork Heart Ministry. Uh, so become our friend and follow us on Twitter as well. Uh, our website is patchworkheart.org. And uh, we also have a Patreon account where you can uh, help sustain our mission. So uh, please reach out to us. Uh, we love to hear from our listeners on Young Catholics Respond, Patchwork Heart Ministry. Um, our parent organization is growing by leaps and bounds, and it's just so much fun to have you along for the ride. So no matter where you're listening from, the mountains of West Virginia or the plains of Wisconsin, thank you so much for being with me today. Uh, on today's program, I am blessed to be joined by my friend Anna Nuzzo, who is an acclaimed international Catholic singer, songwriter, recording artist, and TV host. She has sung professionally for more than 25 years and credits her 2012 Marian consecration for jump-starting her worldwide music ministry. She is a self-taught pianist and often sings and plays for events. She delights in traveling the world to spread the gospel through her music ministry. Sometimes she is blessed to bring along with her uh, her talented son, Luke, to play guitar. Kenosha, Wisconsin, is where she lives with her husband, Mike, their two sons, Drake and Luke, and their pooch, Lincoln. Her fifth CD, which we're going to talk about today on the program, is The Holy Rosary with Father Chris Alar, and it's coming out in the spring and this spring and summer in 2019. So, Anna, welcome to the program. Thank you so much for being with me and uh, talking with me once again. Thank you, Bill, and so happy to be here. Yeah, so let's talk a little bit about how this rosary CD came uh, to be. <laughs> yes. So um, it's been on my heart to create a rosary CD for a while. And um, I've had many friends and people that I've met at events come up and ask me if I have a rosary CD, if I'm planning to create a rosary CD and things like that. And also they were wanting one CD, like they want it all on one CD. And uh, most rosary CDs are on two CDs because they entail all, you know, all of the mysteries um, and music and things like that. So um, through, through prayer and discernment, what came to me was to ask my friend, Father Chris Alar from the Marians of the Immaculate Conception. He's the director for the Marian Helpers in Stockbridge, Massachusetts. Uh, I asked him if he would recite the rosary with me on this CD. And also, our goal was to contain it all on one CD. Um, so in order to do that, I was able to fit one, one song on there and I chose Mary, my mother, which I thought would be appropriate to go on it. And then I wanted some of my other instrumental songs to be in the background of all of the, the rosaries. So, um, that's the, the plan that's, that's kind of how we've worked for the CD and coincidentally, or God incidentally, Father Chris was in Kenosha, which is where I live, um, last month for a Marian mission. We did a mission at Holy Rosary. And since he was going to be in the area, I wanted to take advantage of that opportunity. And I called um, you, <laughs> <laughs> my friend Bill Snyder, who's... Um, uh, you're so talented and so <laughs> gifted. And I thought, you know, what better way to record this CD than to ask you to come to Holy Rosary and and um, share your expertise with us and help us do this. So um, thank you so much for saying yes and, and recording this for us. Oh, it I'm was really so much excited. fun. 
Oh, it's so much fun. And, you know, it, it truly was a graced afternoon to record it. And uh, to be able to record at a place called Holy Rosary uh, is even is even cooler. <laughs> uh, so, so yeah, we, we really was a great afternoon and just a ton of fun to, to, to pray the rosary uh, and, and to hear it over and over. I think that's, you know, a blessing of the rosary is that uh, it's, it's a backdrop for, for, for the gospel stories, as uh, Father Chris mentioned it to us when we were recording it, you know. And uh, it's, it's just a beautiful way to enter into the gospel um, and through all these different mysteries. But, but I agree with you. You know, a lot of these rosary CDs have so much on them and so much contained. This, this rosary is, you know, you know, is different. It's, it, it, it's just a rosary, right? It's just a rosary. Uh-huh. Um, uh-huh. There's not all these long reflections and long things, which allows the listener to, to put it in their own lives, put it in context with their own lives, right? I mean, like whatever they're thinking about, whatever they're uh, doing and, you know, their own intentions can be easily inserted in this. You don't have to, you know, listen to, you know, a, a petition for something else that you're maybe not interested in, in praying for at that moment. Maybe you have a real personal need you need. So that's something I think is very unique about this. And, and the fact that it uh, will and does fit on one disc is even, uh, is even more of a miracle, right? Exactly. Uh, thank you for figuring all that out. But, <laughs> I mean, of course, Father Chris is so prayerful full and I just love praying along with him and I know everyone is going to um, but you know he does of course state the fruit the fruit of the mystery and um, he adds a few extra prayers like the Saint Michael the Archangel prayer and things that uh, you know I normally do when I pray the rosary anyway and I think a lot of people do but it was we were able to do it in a concise manner I believe each rosary is like 19 minutes, I think. So I know we're all busy. um, And sometimes it's like, by the time I put my head on the pillow at night, I'm like, oh, I didn't get fit my rosary in today. So I fit it in at the last minute and I try to do it in the morning. But sometimes it happens. And at least I know I can just listen to this on my phone and, um, you know, I can pray along with him and have the background music and you know in night it just takes you know 19 minutes to to have that daily prayer time with mother mary and and pray about jesus and everything that's going on in our lives and you know ask for their intercession and and healing and i think it's going to be a really powerful tool I do. Um, and if you have, you know, a short car ride to go pick up the kids or drop the kids off or whatnot, you can put in the rosary and you can all play on the car, all pray along on the ride back. I think it's a great tool for families. Um, and I tried to make it convenient um, to fit in our daily lives. And, and you know, if, if more and more people start praying the rosary, you know, then um, the world will be a better place, as we all know. Yes. So, Exactly. And, you know, let's talk a little bit about the artwork as well. You know, the CD cover, you know, the, the rosary it is just a, um, it, you know, you know, it's a beautiful way to, to meditate and to think about uh, the life of Jesus through, through Mary's intercession. But, um, you know, we also use visual images to pray as well as Catholics. And so um, talk to us a little bit about who commissioned the artwork for um, this, this beautiful CD cover that you're going to put on it as well. I'm really excited how this came about. So I'm friends with an amazing iconographer in Chicago. His name is Joseph Malham, and he's the resident artist at St. Gregory the Great Church in Chicago. And he is also an author, and uh, it's a crazy story, Bill. So what happened was, I, I texted him and I said, hey, Joe, um, I'm going to be doing this new rosary CD. And I like this particular Theotokos icon that you have. Um, he has many different icons that he's written. And they're all available on his website, trinityicons.com. And I like this particular Theotokos of the Blessed Mother with baby Jesus. And he said, you know, yeah, that, that's a beautiful one. Um, but guess what? I just happened to be 
creating a new one, a new design that I've never done before. Um, let me send it to you. And he sent it to me. I fell in love with it. I'm like, this is perfect. So I said, oh my goodness, it's, it's, I've never seen anything like it. It's beautiful. I think this is it. I think this is supposed to be the cover of my rosary CD. So, so what caused you to be out of the blue creating this Theotokos on, he also said he was doing it on a ceramic tile because he found a box of tiles like just laying in the garage. <laughs> they're, they're square. Right. And he was like, I have this square icon. It's perfect for the cover of a CD. You wouldn't have to crop it or anything. It's already square. And he's just like was finishing it up that day. Wow. And I said, so so were you doing this icon for someone in particular? Did, did someone ask you to do an icon on a tile? Um, why were you doing this icon? this week today why why did it come to you to to do a square one and he's like honestly i think it's for you <laughs> he said i i think this this is the reason why i created this one of a kind square icon on this tile the and i we were blown away we just wow. could not believe the timing of it and how it's perfect um, and it, it is going to, it's, it's going to be the cover of my CD. I'll share the image of it. And I'm feel so blessed that his, you know, his, our gifts from our Lord, his gift in, um, artistry, Joe's gift. And then my gift of music have come together without us even realizing it, you right. know, on our own, the Lord has put us together for this, for the rosary, yeah. for Mother Mary, for the rosary CD. <laughs> um, and I just, I, I, you're the first person I'm actually telling this story to. Um, and I'm still sort of blown away by it. Um, and I, I just can't wait. I just can't wait till it all, you know, comes together. Yeah, it's going to be an amazing. Uh, it's going to be an amazing uh, project to see it all uh, together, and uh, and, I, and I know it's going to bless so many people in all of our ministries. Um, you know, all all the different ministries are going to be able to be blessed by this and bless others, which is just an incredible, uh, an incredible feeling and something just to be uh, wonderful and to be a part of. So. Um, Anna, it's just awesome talking with you about this. Uh, we have to take that short break uh, right now. And then when we come back, uh, we're going to continue talking with you um, about just your, you know, what, what, what you're doing. You've got some great projects. You've got some great trips coming up uh, that people can join you on as well. So uh, we're going to uh, take that short break, and then we'll come back and continue our conversation with you right after these messages here on Young Catholics Respond. I'm your host, Bill Snyder. Patchwork Heart Ministry is committed to sowing hope into broken hearts by helping young people encounter the love of Jesus Christ and His Catholic Church through prayer, storytelling, and media initiatives. We invite you to prayerfully consider supporting this mission financially. Mail your tax-deductible donation to Patchwork Heart Ministry at P.O. Box 563 Lake Geneva, Wisconsin, zip code 53147 or visit patchworkheart.org to donate online. That's Patchwork Heart Ministry, P.O. Box 563, Lake Geneva, Wisconsin, 53147, or online at patchworkheart.org. Judy Hare was a bankrupt, homeless, drug-addicted college dropout on the brink of divorce, but is now a seminary graduate and devoted wife and mother of four children. What happened? Find out in her autobiography, Shattered, How God Restored My Heart and Life. Her journey of faith has been called brutally honest, truly inspiring, profound, heartbreaking, and life-changing. Shattered is available now for only $15 on her website, judyhair.com, on amazon.com, or at your local Catholic bookstore. As Judy says, it is never too late to become the person you deserve and desire to be. So stop wishing for change 
and start doing something about it by reserving your copy of Shattered Today. Hi everybody, Bill Snyder here. Just want to thank you for listening to this episode of Young Catholics Respond. And as a founder of Patchwork Heart Ministry, we have so much more going on than just our podcasts. Check it out at patchworkheart.org. The words spoken by Our Lady of Guadalupe to Juan Diego nearly 500 years ago are almost too good to be true. Asking that a temple be built at the site of her apparition, she promised that here I will give all my love, my compassion, my help, and my protection to all those who love me, cry to me, seek me, and who have confidence in me. Here I will listen to their weepings and alleviate all their sufferings, necessities, and misfortunes. My name is Alan Napleton and I live in Dallas, Texas. I have visited her shrine in Mexico City dozens of times, bringing my own petitions and have found Our Lady to be true to her word. Over the years, I have brought hundreds of pilgrims to this holy place without incidents and have now founded Viva Guadalupe, a nonprofit that provides safe and inexpensive pilgrimages to Our Lady's shrine. If you would like to take Our Blessed Mother up on her promise and learn more about how you can visit this special place of grace, please visit vivaguadalupe.org for more information. Your heart is always beating, but you never have to think about it. Welcome back to Young Catholics Respond. Once again, Bill Snyder. Welcome back to this episode of Young Catholics Respond, everybody. I am Bill Snyder. This is uh, a pleasure to have you joining us, uh, no matter how you're joining us. Uh, If you are listening to us on uh, your cell phone uh, via Breadbox Media, uh, I encourage you to check out uh, breadboxmedia.com and uh, look at all of the uh, amazing programs that Breadbox brings to you. They're all Catholic. Uh, they're, all, um, they're all wonderful shows. So definitely uh, take a look at the other offerings of Breadbox Media. Uh, and if you're listening on Light of Life uh, Radio Network out in West Virginia, thank you so much for tuning in. Or if you're listening in Huntley, Illinois, uh, thanks so much for tuning in and being uh, with us today. Share the program with a friend, by the way. Uh, just you know, forward it on to a friend. Uh, that's how we continue growing here. But on today's program, uh, I'm blessed to be joined by my friend Anna Nuzzo. Uh, in the first half of the program, we talked all about her uh, upcoming rosary CD. Uh, that is truly uh, a fantastic uh, project. But uh, why just hear Anna on a CD when you can uh, go see her in person and listen to her sing live? There's nothing quite like it. Uh, so, Anna, let, let's talk a little bit about the events you have coming up around the area and around the world. Oh, thank you so much. Um, yeah, so I would love to mention some of my bigger events that um, are coming up. And my next big one is an Amazing Mercy retreat that I'm doing with Jeannie Ewing, spirituality writer. Um, and it's June 28th and 29th at St. Thomas Church in Camp Point, Illinois. So that's going to be Friday night and all day Saturday, a women's retreat. Go to the St. Thomas website or mine for more information. And Laura Evans was the organizer for that. Um, And she's been wonderful. And we're so excited about this amazing Mercy Retreat. And we'll be focusing on joy. And then after that... um, Actually, before that, I forgot one. I'm going to my one of my favorite places in the world, the National Shrine of Divine Mercy in Stockbridge, Massachusetts. So that's Memorial Day weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm so excited to be singing for all of the masses and for leading the Divine Mercy Chaplet at three daily. So please come on out if you're in the Stockbridge, Massachusetts area and say hi. I'd love to meet you. Um, let's see, that was June. Oh, and then I, I pretty much take some time off in the summer, but in September, I'll start up again. And with Father Chris Alar, who is on my rosary CD, we're doing a mission in Darien, Illinois, September 7th through the 11th at Our Lady of Peace. And Far- Father Mark Barron is the pastor there. So please come on out to that. Father Chris gives amazing talks on divine mercy and the Blessed Mother, and I believe he may be doing a talk on suicide as well, because he has an amazing book coming out on that topic. There's Hope for Them and You, I believe, is the subtitle. Um, 
after that, I'll be in lacrosse at a women's conference September 14th. And then um, the most, most exciting thing is I'm hosting a pilgrimage to Poland and my husband's coming with me and it's open for anyone to come with. Our spiritual leader is Father Greg Kornick from Houston, Texas. And CC Triska is the pilgrimage leader for select international tours. And it's 11 days in Poland and the Czech Republic. It's a divine mercy pilgrimage. And the cost is $3,795 land and air from Chicago. So it's a really good price. Um, that includes everything except... I think a few of the lunches, but it's all the breakfasts, all the dinners, some special dinners, all of the pricing to get in all of the holy sites, tour guides on the ground, and um, amazing accommodations. And I have never been to Poland or the Czech Republic, and Divine Mercy is such a huge part of my life um, and my husband's life. So we're really excited to, you know, follow the footsteps of St. Maximilian Kolbe, St. Pope John Paul II, St. Faustina. Um, I, I, I just cannot wait. So we do, we are still taking registrations until June 5th. So there's still time to sign up. It's going to be amazing. Um, and you can find more info at my website, ananuzo.com. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Uh, just just an amazing time. I know you've done uh, other pilgrimages in the past and uh, mm-hmm. had, had uh, so many different op- opportunities to sing different places. Are, are you singing at any um, singing at any of these yes. different shrines? Where, where will you be singing? And can other people join you on, as part of the choirs or no? Okay, so this pilgrimage, I've done choir pilgrimages before, but this one, I did a choir pilgrimage to Italy and to the Holy Land. And this one is not a choir pilgrimage. Um, but we will be having daily mass and I will be cantering for all of the daily masses with, you know, um, traditional Catholic hymns. We'll have song books. Everyone can sing along at the masses. Um, we have not planned any special, you know, concerts or anything. I don't know. We'll see what the Lord does, but we, we just needed to fit a lot in since we're only there for, for 10 days. So. Um, it's open to anyone and I'm, um, I hope if you're feeling called, you know, in your heart to come that you just, you know, contact me. I can answer any questions you have or, and all the info for each day, the itinerary is on my website. Yeah. It just, it it looks like an amazing, amazing trip. I mean, you know, going from Warsaw to Maximilian Colby's, uh, you know, residence and you guys just have an amazing, um, you have an amazing opportunity to go uh, see uh, a uh, in an awesome, awesome pilgrimage, and you know, with with Anna and uh, Father Greg. So really, uh, take advantage of it. I mean, again, you know, pilgrimages, you know, for under four thousand uh, dollars are are rare, folks. Are rare. Mm-hmm. Uh, are very rare. Mm-hmm. So um, you know, take advantage of this. Again, it's uh, through uh, select international tours, but you can go to Anna's website which is just simply ananuzo.com and uh and, and get all the information there there's a tab right on the web page it says uh pilgrimage so you can't miss it folks um definitely go ahead and do that uh and i want to talk with you a little bit about in the closing minutes uh, we I, I every time we have you on we always close with a song um so <laughs> so the closing song for this uh episode of young catholics respond will be mary my mother um so just talk to us a little bit about this uh song and and how it came about well this song came about due to my affiliation with shalom world tv in chicago and i'm a tv host there now but um a couple years ago when they first contacted me um and we were talking they were going to interview me for their show. They have an amazing program called Marry My Mother, and people share their personal testimonies and journey with the Blessed Mother. And so I, I was looking at back episodes before it was my turn to be filmed, and I realized there was not a theme song for this program. They just um, had some people sing different Marian hymns for each episode. And I felt 
called to write a theme song for the program, Marry My Mother. And, and so I did. And they loved it. Um, and they use it for their program every week. It airs weekly. And so this song that we're going to air right now after this interview is the theme song version because it's a short version. It's a minute and a half. Um, and then there's also the long full song version on uh, my CD and as a single online. Um, but I'm excited to share this theme song version with all of you. Awesome. Well, we'll leave it with that. Anna, uh, thank you so much for being here on today's program. I can't thank you enough uh, for, for being here and sharing with our audience all about the amazing things you're doing from the Rosary CD all the way to the pilgrimages. Uh, it's always a pleasure to talk with you. And thank you so much. Oh, well, praise God, and um, it's always a blessing to talk with you, too. So thank you for helping me spread my ministry and for sharing your gifts with the world, too. Absolutely. Well, here is Mary, my mother. Uh, this is Young Catholics Respond. Thank you so much for listening. I'm Bill Snyder. Until next time, keep beating to your Catholic heart. When I was feeling sad Catholics Respond, a radio initiative of Patchwork Heart Ministry. To learn more about our ministry and program, visit us at patchworkheart.org. Or to get exclusive access and early ministry updates, become our patron on Patreon by searching for Patchwork Heart Ministry.